and welcome to Time with Lydia, the pharmacist. In this video, we'll be discussing the difference between a pimple and a boil. Whilst both conditions may appear alike on the skin's surface, their causes, symptoms, severity, and their treatment approaches are quite different. Understanding these differences is important to help you know how to care for your skin, as well as know when to seek medical help. So let's dive in. First of all, let's talk about pimples, how they are formed, the symptoms, the severity, and how pimples can be treated. A pimple would form when your skin becomes clogged with oil, dead skin cells, or bacteria. They appear in many forms, including whiteheads, blackheads, and papules. There are some pimples that would be pus filled so would tend to look similar to a boil commonly a pimple would appear on your back your chest your face or your shoulder usually small in size a few millimeters and not very painful the head would come out quite quickly and will resolve within a few days you can treat a pimple using creams gels and cleansers and these are preparations that you can easily find in your local community pharmacy. You just need to speak to your pharmacist and they would advise you appropriately. These normally would have active ingredients such as benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid. If pimples are severe such that it is causing the stress or it is spreading really fast, becomes very aggressive, then it would mean that you would have to speak to your doctor for the appropriate treatment. Let's move on now to boils. Boils are caused by a bacteria called Staphylococcus aureus. This bacteria live on the skin, but can reach the inner layers through a cut, an insect bite, or through an infected hair follicle. Balls are larger than pimples and they can grow to about one centimeter across. They can appear swollen, very painful compared to pimples and the color of the infected area may appear different compared to your normal skin. Balls can grow deeper and bigger and it would normally take about one to two weeks before they go away. The center would appear white or yellow before at best. They are more painful than pimples and they can spread when the pus gets into contact with an open area on your skin. Now you can treat balls using simple home remedies, for example, a warm compress. And I've got quite a few videos on how to treat balls, so make sure you check them all out. If the ball is very big, and it is causing fever and extreme pain, then it would require that you visit your doctor so they can diagnose and treat appropriately. So now we all know the difference between a ball and a pimple. I hope this video is beneficial. Please don't go without giving it a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. If you haven't yet subscribed, to this channel please hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our educative and informative content leave your comments and your questions in the comment section thank you once again for your time today and i hope to see you soon in the next one bye for now